Hello everyone, welcome to Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to set up JUnit for Java projects. Also, we will create test and we will see how to run them inside the IntelliJ IDEA. So in front of you, I have prepared these steps and we are going to follow these steps one by one. Let's begin with the step one. So first we will create a project in IntelliJ IDEA. So open the IntelliJ IDEA and the very first window you will see if you have uh, not created any project in the IntelliJ IDEA. So whenever you launch, you will see this kind of a screen. Click on the new project. Then you will see new project window. Write this box. We have to give the name to our project. This time we are going to work with the JUnit. So I am giving the name like JUnit hyphen tutorial and the second box which is for location. So we have this browse options available and if you want to save your project in different location, you can select. Come to the language section here, select the Java. Then uh, in the build system, we have to select the Maven because this time we are going to choose Maven. When you come at this JDK section, you can see no JDK associated with the IntelliJ IDEA. So we have to click on this down arrow and we have the option to add the JDK. When you click on it, you can see these options. So suppose on your system, there is no JDK. In that case, you have to click on the first option. If you have the JDK, you have to select the third option and you have to give the path of the installed JDK folder. So this time on my machine, there's no JDK. So I will go with the first option. So just click and then you will see this kind of a pop-up window here. This will show you the what kind of JDK is going to be installed on your system. So this is Oracle open JDK version 20 will be installed. Click on the download. Make sure you are connected to the internet. If you have a very good internet speed, so this process will not take much time and downloading will be finished very soon. Okay. Once the downloading is finished, you can see the JDK is set up here in this box and then go with the next option. Check add sample code generate and then click here on the advanced setting. First one is the group ID and the second is the artifact ID. Click on the create. So within seconds, your project will be created and set up in this IntelliJ IDEA. When you go on the left hand side in the project explorer, see the tree structure of our project. This is dot idea folder and we have the SRC folder in which we have all our source file and the proper structures there and one main dot Java file we have received by default, which is opened on the right hand side in the editor. When you see the test folder as well, you, you can see the directory structures there. And this is our pom.xml file. So guys, the, in the next step, we will add the dependency here. You can see because, uh, because we have just set up the Maven project. That's why this is downloading some Maven dependencies. And uh, within, within three to five minutes, this will be properly downloaded. Now we will move to the step two. In the step two, we need to add the proper JUnit dependency because we are going to work with JUnit test cases. I will show you how you can add this manually. IntelliJ IDEA is very smart. Whenever you use any kind of uh, class and these dependency, if not found in the system, this will automatically suggest you to download. Okay. You have to press the shortcut key and then you will get the search box type the J unit. And this way you can select the appropriate J unit dependency version. And this will be added here. Go to this refresh button, click on it. And all the required API J unit dependency will be added that into the project. Now we will see the step three in the step three. We are going to a simple class with two methods. This is our main class, but I'm not going to touch this main class. We will create from the scratch. 
So I will go to the same place in the same package where the main file is there. So I will do the right click on this package and go to the new, select the Java class, click on it. And then this will ask you to give the name. So I'm giving the name calculator. So this is going to be a class. And then you will see this is a small piece of code and the class is created. Now we have to write two methods. So I have arranged two methods. The first method for adding the two numbers and the second method is to multiply it to float numbers. Okay. So here on this IntelliJ idea, we will get a good support like package import. This is highlighting that what import is missing. So we can simply resolve these issues. So go on the right hand side on these bars, click on this red bar and this will suggest you what is missing. So this is saying us that double stream import is missing. So we have just added and then again we see for the second one what is missing. Okay, code correction is done. Now all error has gone. Now code is perfectly fit. So we have one add method and one multiply method. So we will create the test case for these two methods. Okay, guys, now go back to this notepad. So we have successfully completed the step three. Okay, let's move on to step four. In the step four, we need to create test class. Test is a piece of code whose function is to check if another piece of code is operating correctly or not. In order to do check, it calls the tested method and compares the result with the predefined expected value. Because we know every method has its particular task and it will give you uh, expected result. Okay, in that situation, we can uh, write the test cases, whether it will give you the expected results or whether it will give you the exceptions. So, so you will have the known conditions and on the basis of that, we will write the test cases. To write the test cases, you have to go to the class and then you will see this pop up. Come here, click on this more actions. Then you will see more options. Click on this create test. When you do it, you will see this pop up, small pop up window. Here we have to give few th things. So this time, uh, this is suggesting us that testing libraries are available up to JUnit 5. So I'm going with the JUnit 5. You can make the corrections. Previously, we have added the dependency for JUnit 3.8, but this time I have selected the JUnit 5. So this time, uh, this uh, IntelliJ idea is smart and this will add the JUnit 5 dependency into our pom.xml. And now come here, this will show you the list of the methods available in our class. So you can change the class name as well here, but uh, as per the recommendation that uh, name is uh, appending that number is not a good thing and this will show you the error and here we will rectify this error. So when you create it, you will see uh, some uh, partial code and the test class is ready like calculator test one. So this is uh, showing us like uh, the J unit is missing from the class path. So this will click on this more action and then you can select simply J unit, the latest one 5.8.1 to the class path. And this automatically resolved that API error. So the library J unit library is added here. And all those error gone only one uh, warning is appearing like uh, that the class name is not as per standard so we can modify it later and here we can add the annotation display name like so what kind of test we are going to perform so this will give us the clear idea on the console when we execute it so this will tell us that our first case is executed so we, we, we can easily know about that what case is executed and what this is all about. So when you put the uh, display name, this will be useful. 
So the first one is adding two number and the second method is for multiplying the two numbers. So I'm adding the display name here this way. Okay, now we go with the add method. Here we will add one assertion and then we will check it the expected value. So also we are getting one uh, warning that uh, this uh, class doesn't match the regular expression so we can remove the one from this place and meeting the standard of the naming convention and putting one assert equals here which is uh, going to add two numbers and the expected value is four. And guys, now we will uh, add some code for the multiply method. So in place of uh, uh, multiple asserts equals, we are going to use the assert all. So this method can take the series of multiple assert equals method as lambda expressions. And this will ensures that all your test cases must be checked. So this will give you the complete uh, uh, information on the terminal when you execute this like uh, your all assert equals executed successfully and test case will be pass or fail. If one of them is failed, this will report us like our test case is failed. So this way I have used assert all. Now we can run it. So simply we have a uh, different ways to run this test case. One more thing I want to refactor the name of the file. Okay. And finally we are here on the calculator dot calculator test dot Java. Let's see how to run it. So in our Class, we have uh, two test methods. So we will see how many ways we can run it. Okay, simple. This is the class. So when you go in front of the method, you can see this kind of symbol. And when you put cursor, every method, every method, how many methods you have, you will see this kind of option. And when you put the cursor and click, you will get this option run add method so if you want the case independently so you can just go with that that method and click and if you want to run all methods together simply go to the class name and click run calculator test or run test okay one of the method is on the top you can simply click on that symbol and that will be executed also you can do the right click on the file select run calculator test so we have different ways to run it. Okay, let's run this add method. And we will see what will happen. Going to run it. Execution started. And finally, we got the result here on the console. Like, with the help of the display name, you can see the display name of our test is adding two number, which is passed. So this is the benefit of the adding the display name annotation just before the test method. So you can identify which one is failed and which one is passed. Now we will go with the multiply method. Just click, click run multiply and wait few seconds and you will get the results on the console. Also you can see multiply two numbers executed successfully all assets equals passed and commonly you will get the response on the console that means all your asset equals passed there is no problem okay now we can run all the test cases together so simply go to the class name line number seven see the line number seven and click and run calculator test then you will see two test cases execute, executed and both are pass. So all the information will be displayed here like this.
So simply awesome. So J integration is successful here. And this way you can create your test class and then create the test methods and then you can run those test cases and see the results. So guys, this is all about working with the J unit inside the IntelliJ IDEA. I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful. Please hit the like button to appreciate and don't forget to subscribe to learn more. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.